I'm going to show you how to use a new mod I've installed into Minecraft. In case you're not aware, a mod is a set of files that changes the way the game is played. We already have some mods installed. You might not even have realized it. So the minimap up in the upper right hand screen is a mod. That's not something that comes standard with Minecraft. I had to install some files and it made it so that map would show up. Uh, we have some other mods that you might not know are running. I have one mod that makes a lot of different environments uh, called biomes. So we have lots of interesting ones. Um, and I have several other mods that I, that I install in the background that make life a little bit easier inside Minecraft. This mod is great though, it's called My Town, and it makes it so that you can set a town inside Minecraft where nobody else uh, can break your things or grief you in any way possible. So let me show you how it works. You'll see that it just said I have entered uh, Town 1. So now I'm in the town called Town 1, which I actually set with a different character. So let's say, oh, I'm in Town 1, I'm going to start breaking stuff. And you see, it's not going to let me. You cannot access things here. So I can't break blocks. I can't set down lava or water. Um, I can walk through it, but that's pretty much it. So whoever owns my town, or my town one, or whatever it was called, um, is safe. So I can't grief them. If I keep walking, it says, you just entered the wilderness. When you're in the wilderness, that means that this land has not been claimed. Now the way this works is Minecraft is divided up into what are called chunks. A chunk is 16 blocks by 16 blocks. They're squares of 16 by 16. When you claim a town, you get one of those chunks. So you get a 16 by 16 piece of land that is your town that you can do whatever you want with. And let's see if I can find a little nicer place to set up my town. You can see I have a very high, uh, very high mountain here. And see here, I can break as many blocks as I want because I'm not inside the town, I'm inside the, the wilderness. So let's just say that I have arrived where I'd like to set up my town. I'm going to have to use some commands. To use commands, I always start with a forward slash. Typically, if I want to use a my town command, I have to start with the T key. So I have forward slash T, and I'm going to say new space, and I'm going to name the town. So I'm going to call this uh, Village 97, and I'm going to press Enter. And it says, Welcome to Village 97. Uh, my name is John Doe. I just founded a new town called Village 97. It says Town Blocks, one out of one. So I only got one block. I could claim one chunk, and I have used that one chunk. So I can't claim any l more land at this time. And if I move around, come back the way I came... Eventually, it says, you just entered the wilderness. So, so I just came outside the bounds of my land. I'm now in the wilderness. And it could be, a, oh, welcome back. I'm back in Village 97. It can be a little difficult to figure out where your town is and where it isn't. So there's a command, forward slash T, space map, space on. In a few seconds, it takes a few seconds, but a little map if you want to call it that, it's going to pop up on the screen, and it's going to help me to figure out where I am and where my town is. Okay, so you see these little little zeros. The red zeros are some other town that was called Town 1. The green zeros are my town. Uh, and right now I'm not in my town because I have left. I'm going to go back in. And you'll see the little highlighted dash mark. That's where I'm at right now. If I move, now I'm inside the green circle. Now I'm back inside my town. If I keep going this direction, eventually that will shift. And now I am sort of below the green zero. I'm back outside of my town. I'm back in the wilderness. Okay, now I'm back inside my town. I can always turn the map off by doing forward slash T, map, and you guessed it, off. Now map mode is off. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, one chunk isn't really much to work with. And you're right. So what you can do is you can turn your little town into a nation. So I'm going to say forward slash T. I'm going to say nation. I'm going to say new. And I'm going to give it a name. So I'll say nation 97. Aha. So now the town of village 97 grew to the nation of nation 97. Now you see I have used one out of my possible six blocks. So it gave me five extra blocks for founding this nation. 
So what I can do is if I go outside my town into the wilderness, I'm now in the wilderness. Now I can do forward slash T and I can do the word claim. I have just used one of my five remaining blocks and now my nation has gotten bigger. So if I turn the map back on, forward slash T map on, and I start moving, you'll see that I have two green blocks and I just went outside that area. I can move back inside that area. Now I'm in the f that, that one. Now I'm moving. Oh, if I come back up, it's a little hard to read, no doubt. Okay, now I'm in the first one I made. And I can claim any piece of land that is touching one of my already pieces of land. So I can't claim one a bunch of chunks away. It has to be right next door. So I can claim this one. T claim. Oh, I wasn't in the wilderness yet. I need to move outside the wilderness into the wilderness. Let's see. Okay, I'm inside my land, and there I am. I'm right next to my land, T, space, claim. Now I have claimed it. And now I have, you'll see now I have four chunks claimed. And if you have found a nation, you'll get six total. So with that, it's a pretty large piece of land. You're going to want to make absolutely sure that you have, um, put your town around where you um, want it to be, and that when you start building, you are building inside your town. If you build in the wilderness, then anybody can walk along um, and destroy it. I'm pretty sure I can unclaim. So I just unclaimed um, the piece that I didn't want to have anymore. So I got that back so I could use that somewhere else. So if you put it down where you don't want it, um, there you go. If I want to, if I put my town down in the wrong place or I want to move my town, I can also do T and delete, enter. It's going to say, are you sure? And if you are sure, you do forward slash T, delete, OK. Oh, I'm in a nation, so I can't delete it. I could have deleted the town at any point until I was inside the nation. At that point, it's sort of stuck there. Um, so keep that in mind. Make sure before you make it a nation that your town is right where you want it to be. But maybe you're asking yourself, Wait a second, Mr. Eames. One of my favorite parts about Minecraft is building with my friends. And if my friends can't come and help me build, then I won't have nearly as much fun. Well, I get you, and my town has a great way to handle that. And basically, you get to invite your friends into the town with you. You see right now my friend Jane Doe. She's trying to crack some blocks, but nothing's happening because right now she's inside our town. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite her into our town so that she can do whatever she needs to do. In order for that to happen, she cannot, I repeat, she cannot have founded her own town. So if you want to go in with some friends, you have to make sure that that person hasn't started their own town. If they have started their own town, tell them that they need to, to delete it. So forward slash T, delete. It's going to ask you, you have to type forward, T, forward slash T, delete, OK. And that will delete their town as long as they haven't turned it into a nation, you'll remember. So... If that's the case, what I want to do is I'm going to forward slash T. I'm going to go to invite, and I'm going to write her name down exactly as it is with capitals and lowercase. Sent the town invitation to Jane Doe. Now, you can't see her screen right now, but if you could see her screen, actually, I'm going to take a screenshot of her screen. Oh, it went away now. But what happens is it says, you've been invited into this town. If you want to accept, you press forward slash T space accept or forward slash T space deny. If she wants to accept, she can do that. And I'll do that now on my screen. Okay, she's joined the town. So now she can break blocks. And if I do T, oops, T info. And I should do, actually, I should do T nation info nation 97. You'll see that I gained the block 
Now I have seven possible blocks. That's because when she joined, she brought that the one block that she gets to start with with her. So you won't get all five that she she can use, but you'll get that one. So the more people you have, the bigger your little area can be. Uh, so keep that in mind. But she can do anything she wants inside this inside this town now, um, almost anything. Uh, the person who founds the town is considered the mayor, and they have complete control. They can delete the town, for example, whereas the new member, Jane Doe, she couldn't delete the town if she wanted to. So make sure that you only admit people that you're willing to trust. And that way you can work together and build your own little town and your own little nation. I have one more important command to show you, and it's a real neat one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press forward slash, and for whatever reason, in this command, you do not type the T key. Uh, don't ask me why. And you type the word set uh, the two words set home, but turn it into one word. It says home set. Okay, cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take a little walk, and I am out in the wilderness. You see, I'm getting further and further away from my little green zeros, which indicate where my town is. I could use those to get back, um, um, but I might even go as far enough that they're off the screen, and then I might be really in trouble. Um, so when I set the home, the cool thing is now I can press forward slash home and I am teleported back to wherever I set the home command. Um, so you're basically setting a little teleportation point which will allow you to go explore and then instantaneously return um, to your home. So that's a really neat thing to keep in mind. Um, if I were you, I would still set a waypoint just in case. Um, but have fun.